Hello there. In this next video, I'm going to talk about drawing substitutions. Right now, we have an eye that has one drawing substitution in the library. And if in typically, we have you know many different sizes and shapes of eyes, as well as blinks, saved in our library. So I'm going to create a little bit of a blink. And what I normally do is I, I'm going to start by just duplicating my original drawing. And you'll notice on my timeline, let me just get rid of this um, toolbar. I have one toolbar, and I'm going to go in and grab another one called my Timeline View Toolbar. And that's the one that sits down here. And we have two options here. Create an empty drawing or create a duplicate drawing. And when I choose either one of these, it automatically puts a new drawing substitution in my library. Because I'm making a, a blink and I want to use a little bit of the original eye, I'm going to make a duplicate. And you can see now that I have my original one and my duplicate. I'm going to go into my drawing layer and I'm going to just try to use as much of this as possible and just do some slight modifications. So maybe I'll start by going into my contour editor and maybe I'll, I'll bring the eye down a bit. Let me just take a look. That's my original. Now, this might just not, I might not get a good enough result with me being just modifying points, but let's just see what we have. Drawing one, drawing two. I'm going to take the whole thing and just select it and bring it down. Maybe a little bit less bend in it. I'm going to take these and I'm going to make it look like those are... Oops, give me that point. I'm just going to try and be a little bit efficient in making this. Let's just take a look. Open, close, open, close. I mean open, half closed. Okay. I've done this on my overlay layer. I'm happy with the way that this looks. I'm going to copy it. Control C. Go to my line art layer. And this is the line art layer has the color and the fill. I'm going to delete that original piece of art. I'm going to paste what I had. I'm going to take my dropper and I'm going to paint on my line art layer the color of the eye. Get rid of that. And now if I go back to my camera, we have two different substitutions, open and less open. So let's just see, we have something that looks like that. Now, that seems to work okay. And let's do one more, and maybe I'll make it closed. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a duplicate. So now I have a third version. I'm going to go into my drawing, and I'm going to just cheat a little bit. I'm going to just go in here, and maybe what I'll try, this might not look that great, but it, it will get the point across. I'm going to try and make it look like that's the, the brow. done that on the line art layer. I mean the overlay layer. I'm just going to copy that. And because I don't I don't need any white because the eye is closed, I'll just delete everything and paste it. Go back to my camera. And now we have an open, slightly closed, and closed eye. You know, I might want to do something to these to make them a bit more appealing. It looks like it's kind of tapering off.
That's not, that's not the best looking closed eye, but that's how you'd handle your substitutions. Okay, thank you for watching How to Build an Eye, and we will make more videos, and hopefully you're enjoying them. Thank you very much.